Hello Rochdale fans, whilst we still have a club to support, hello subscribers, hello to anyone new that may stumble across today's video. It's match day 33 at Runaway Leaders Chesterfield, but obviously, before I start talking any sort of football, there's uh, much more serious issues at hand to discuss. <sighs> How's this going to go? Unless you've been living under a rock the past week or so, um, or living in space, or don't care, or couldn't give a flying fuck. You will have heard that uh, an emergency general meeting has been called, and the common thing about that meeting is that Rochdale need 200 million pence, that's £2 million, pound, by the end of March, or we face liquidation, and that would mean we no longer exist. My football club is about to be stripped completely away from myself um, it's not good I don't know much about business aspects of uh, the world I'm not a businessman but poor management uh, backroom management that is Simon Fraud Gage poor results on the pitch that's put us in non-league and obviously that's got its own financial issues that gets attached to that the downfall has been coming for the last six years if you go seven years ago, we're fighting for promotion to the championship. Now we're facing the facts uh, straight on in the face that we might not even exist come this time next month. It's happened to so many teams. Let's, let's riddle a few off. Let's start with Greater Manchester to, for beginners. Bury, our main rival, gone. They've had to start a Phoenix club. Or it's the same club, but it's not the same, is it? Oldham could have very nearly gone. Bolton Wanderers could have very nearly gone. Wigan Athletic, uh, they had their issues, they've had points deductions uh, this season alone due to uh, money reasons I think. I'm not sure if Stockport had any problems in the past. Greater Manchester has a, was a football hub, now it's just Man United and Man City. Partly to blame because everyone supports them, I can't remember growing up and seeing a Man City shirt, now they're everywhere. I do remember Man United shirts and they're, they're, they're quite less, so yeah, people jumping on bandwagons but... I've heard Torquay this week, they're on their way, they could be uh, they could be gone, that's a southern team gone. Let's talk more teams, Darlington, they went didn't they, Scunthorpe nearly went, South End nearly went, the list goes on, money talks doesn't it, and uh, it's doing all the talking in regards to Rochdale AFC now, and uh, it's not good news everyone. I'm off to Tesco now to get some refreshments uh, for the journey. I'll meet Pete and Pat, they're picking us up at Sandbrook Park for the journey to Chesterfield, which shouldn't take us too long. Uh, Will's doing a park run this morning, I assume, so he's going to meet at Sandbrook Park as well. To get this uh, game underway, got to get these games in, got to be going to them whilst I still can. Uh, never in my wildest imagination did I think I'm 36 now, so over three decades I've been singing Rochdale till I die. Never did I think once that Rochdale might just die first. We need a miracle, hopefully it happens. But will it happen? Who wants to invest in a failed business? Not many people. Obviously due to the occurrences, uh, this vlog may be very well laden with the off-field issues and not the on-field issues so first of all let's let, let me just get some predictions in about on the field might as well while we can four losses in a row um, four performances in a row four points uh, above the drop zone might not even matter that anywhere now uh, and we're playing like I mentioned high-flying Chesterfield who can probably lose every single game now till the end of the season and still go up as champions so fair play to you, good luck in the Football League next year. Um, and that's that, shall I get a score prediction in? Fuck it, it'll be typical of Rochdale to come away with a 1-0 win today. Gary said the same, so let's go for 1-0 Rochdale just for the, the laugh. And I'm about to walk past now what might be my local team next season. Let me show you what uh, it may come to. There you go. Well, obviously there'll be some sort of Phoenix club coming from Rochdale, but this this place right here could be my new local team. 
I'm not going to go and support them, obviously. They're not really a team, it's just the lads from round, uh, round these parts, but cracking stadium beats Spotland, right? This could be, it's actually got a better playing surface than Spotland, looking at it. Um, yeah, Whitworth Valley Football Club. We will be reduced to doing this as a Phoenix club, should it all go wrong by the end of March. We'll be playing on pitches like this, week in, week out, until we can build ourselves back up, if we build ourselves back up. Anyhow, let me get my uh, stuff from Tesco, and then I'll get uh, get the bus down to town to go and meet meet the guys, and obviously they're going to have some strong opinions as well on the journey over. But as Pat always says, let's not uh, let football ruin a good day out. I bet she says that twice today. Bumped into someone in Whitworth then, he was uh, saying good luck for the day. He thinks this has been coming for the last 20 years. Could be right, we've always had poor crowds. But I like to stick to the last six years, and what coincided with that was the departure of uh, Dumphy as the chairman. He ran the club on a steady keel, even keel. Got us uh, a lot of success during his tenure here. It's a shame we can't have him back. I didn't win the Euro Millions yesterday, everyone, so I can't pump in that two million needed. I've got one number, so I'm getting closer. Um, yeah, what I'm thinking as well is, uh, 19 years ago yesterday, my dad passed away. God knows what he would have been thinking if he was still alive watching this. People like Moggy, people like uh, Cluffy, who donated his... Uh, in his will, he donated all his money to the football club. That's been pissed up the wall, so yeah, good tribute to him, Simon. Simon Gage. Uh, we'll have to melt his statue, that's nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's not good. Uh, let's get to the bookies now for a quick bet. I should just stick it to fucking 100 quid on Rockstale to win. That'd take the piss, wouldn't it? And then I'll, I'll get up to McDonald's at Sandbrook Park, get my breakfast, and then I will wait for the guys. Uh, no, before I do meet them, I think I'll have one last rant. Um, played Man United away in the Cup a couple of years back. 8,000 fans. Where are you? Played Tottenham away at Wembley uh, when we got a, a replay against them. 6,000 fans in an absolute blizzard. Where are you? Played Newcastle away. 5,500 fans on a Tuesday night. Where are you? If they even turned up for just one game per month, we wouldn't be in this position, we'd have a lot more revenue in. But talking about them games, that's one thing they can't take from us, is our memories. The Joey Thompson goal, all those games I've just mentioned there. Um, seeing the likes of Grant Holt and uh, Ricky Lambert play for us, Glenn Murray. There's a lot of things that uh, they can't take, and that's our memories. And typical of me, I'll probably get Alzheimer's and forget all that. Well, here we go, guys, for potentially the last away game as we know it in the car. Start. Oh, I've started off on a very jolly note before, and will you? Set the scene. Set the scene. Let's get in this uh, vehicle for who knows if it will be the last time. Pat's finally put the radio on because we've been talking politics a bit much, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, Pete, I'm not going to go into the football politics yet. We'll we'll save that till we're all sat down, yeah? Will, how are you feeling this morning? Rough as toast. Rough as toast. There's no beer for Will today. No, there will be when we get there. When you get there, yeah, but normally by this time we're both... No, normally by this time we're both pissed out of our minds, right? I'm looking to you for inspiration. I don't always That's it. He's looking to me for inspiration now. That is worrying. That's what's become. Anyway, Pete, how far along are we? Halfway there. Halfway there. 35 miles to go. Say that again. We're living on a bird, yeah. Right? He got he got the pun in there, didn't he? I need to charge my phone, Will. No Let's do it. Pete sat navs took us through the, the mean streets of South Sheffield, has it Pete? Yeah. Stuck us some somewhere off the beaten track. Anyway, Will. Oh. You've been Chesterfield before. Yeah, many times. Did you ever go to Saltergate? Yes. What was that one like? It was good. Well, it was like an open terrace, old school. Old school stuff. Uh, Glenn, Glenn Mary Hodge. 
An open toilet, Pete? Well, yeah. It could have been. Any Chesterfield fans watching will tell us about Saltergate, I guess. And you told me about a journey to Chesterfield, Will, that um, you and Colin had. Oh, yeah. And what happened then? Well, we left in disgust after 60 minutes when Calvin got brought on at centre half. <laughs> it's the earliest I've ever left a year. <laughs> Calvin Andrew got brought on at centre half and he was out of the. Well, he wasn't a striker, let alone a centre half. So yeah, yeah. So if, uh, I've, I've been to Chesterfield before myself with you two. A long time ago, about eight years ago. We drew nil nil, Pat. Pat. Yeah, Pat don't remember anything. And I remember having an all right day out, despite the nil nil scoreline, but I was a right miserable bastard on the way home, if I remember rightly. Out of nowhere. That could, that could be any week. Yeah, that could be my bipolar depression time. Yeah, that, that's, the, that, that's the only reason I remember it, and it's the only time I've been before. And it was to this new stadium, but not sort of yet. Anyway, Pete, the, Pete there's your pal. You got a friend here, look. There he is, cycling friends. <laughs> Shit bike, not good enough. What pub are we looking for? I, I, I don't fucking know. Oh, sorry, I thought you said there was some pubs. No, there, there was it on Google, it said a few pubs, but just having a quick scan about as we're driving in towards the stadium now. Now, I have been here before, but I don't, I don't think I came in this way because... Not saying that Rochdale's like anything special, but this looks dumpier than Rochdale. And do you agree? Yeah. yeah. It it looks quite rough around here. But saying that, there is some sketchy areas of Rochdale, which um, are full of grooming gangs and what have you at Rochdale. Shame they're not grooming them to come and watch football. They're doing it in a very sinister way. Um. But yeah, don't know. We'll find the pub. We'll tell you which one we're in when we get there. So we're out and hunting for pubs, Pat. Why are we walking past one? We're walking past the Derby tub. Tub. Pete says it's boring as fucking there, so on we go. So there is a pub up on the left. Yeah. That we've been in before. We actually got here before the actual pub opened. Oh, well, well, we did that on New Year's Day as well. We were stood outside waiting for it to open. Yeah, well, here we go. Apparently there's another one. Let's get in it. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. What, is that the world's shittest indie band? The world's shittest indie us. band have just walked past us. Yeah. Doesn't matter where you go on the globe, there will always be a Red Lion pub. Uh, it's it's missing it's missing the R on it, so it's the Ed Lion today. Everywhere you go, it, without fail. One, three, Our first four, sporting four, thing of the day is going to be we've been roped into a sweepstake in the pub, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah. Here it is. Which one did I pick? Resplendent grey, number 10. That's me, because my hair's grey now. So, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Gotta win it. Gotta win it. Will won the sweepstake. And yeah, sh sh show, it shows your winnings there, Will. Okay, now. That, that, get it to the football club, it will we'll be sorted. What do you reckon, Pete? <laughs> That'll sort us out. We, we only need what? Just shy of two million left to go. Just get a few more of us to Yeah, and uh, Matthew Whitworth, you're telling me about your fantasy team, and today I just don't give a damn. There's your shout out. <laughs> the the Mr. Miss, Miss number one vlog fan. And it will. Just outside the bar enjoying one of these cancer sticks. Um, to tell you the truth, the mood between us isn't that bad. I think it's just under the surface, the bitterness and the um, horribleness about the whole situation. But at the moment, we're having fun, making jokes with each other. But I'm going to um, stick the camera in the face very shortly and get a little uh, piece from each of them to see their uh, opinions on on matters. Oh, and the uh, woman in the bar, not the bar woman herself, there's a woman in the bar doing the sweepstakes. I don't think she's all there. Right, so, to be honest, at, at the moment we've been in pretty alright spirits, haven't we? Yeah. To be fair, we've had a laugh and a joke in, the, in a two minute or so. Has anyone got any uh, thoughts on the predicament? I'm going to start with Mr Maxwell, of course. Well, not, not to be put on video, I don't think. It's just bad, isn't it? Bad situation. Yeah. yeah. I thought you might have gone a bit more in depth than that, Will. Just ask him about the politics and the vote this week in Rochelle and he'll answer it. Yeah, we could talk about George Galloway if you want. Say what? 
Uh, the beginning, yeah, somewhat corrupted on the file, but today I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> uh, Pete, what do you think on the all I think it's a ball. I think I don't think he's got a choice. I know it's not a popular view, but I think he's. I think they've been trying. And nobody wants to invest in a club if they haven't got all the money. Yeah. So, it's a rock and a hard place, isn't it? And a, ver a very hard place, harder than my rock. <laughs> and Pat? I'm in the grieving process and I'm in denial. Yeah. I'm at denial. I'm not acceptance, I'm in denial. Until, so it's, until, it's not, until it's, it's done. It's not happening. So the fat lady sings. Yeah. Ain't okay. We're not going anywhere. Okay. Well, I, I, I could I take that. And I hope, you're, I hope you're right and I hope it does all uh, pan out okay, don't we, everyone? <laughs> right, and in a minute I'll get score predictions when the lineup's out. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, you sit back, you. <laughs> right, Pete, go on, line up. So we got Brooks in there, Gordon, Ebanks, Landell, Adam Clayton. It's fine. Mitchell, Rodney, Mello, Nevitt, Hayes, Gilmore, and Mitchell. No, I said that. Can you read? <laughs> Oh, Armstrong. Armstrong, yeah. So, we, we really, out of those, we want, we'd rather play with 10 and take Miller off. <laughs> oh, hey, we've got sassy on those. Yeah, sassy. Oh, very sassy. You, you know, I don't know what's going to happen today, because I did not, I have been shown the line-up. No goalkeeper on the bench, which I don't think we've had for a bit. Watch our keeper get injured today. Oh, don't be that close. That's a prediction. How's that for you? Uh, so, uh, anyway... Score prediction, Will. You said we might might uh, actually think the same today. Let's see. Three or four. Is it three or four? Four nil. Three one to Chesterfield. I'm being a bit better. Two one to them. Two one to Chesterfield. One nil to us. <laughs> and I've also put laugh gone to one nil to Rochdale as well. Yeah, but no, it was it was tongue in cheek. In reality, I'm going with three 0 to Chesterfield as well, like we all mentioned. So let's hope we're all wrong, apart from the man here and Gary and me. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's going to be about eight 0 isn't it? <laughs> how, how many gods are we praying to? Today? <laughs> yeah, all of them. Just finished the pub. Pat's just said after three pints of lager, <laughs> topping up from yesterday. It's I'm, I'm now optimistic. She's now she's now optimistic. Kick their ass. Yeah, well. We, we were um, we were describing how we're feeling. We're now uh, uh, when we now feel like somebody's told us we're terminally ill. Yeah. And we're going nah. I can sod that for laugh. We're yeah. in denial. We're not having it. No. But, yeah. There's, there's miracle cures. Uh, as well. Science can do anything. As Will just said, it's like being told you've got some sort of bad diagnosis. Yeah. And we're going gathering round the bedside. Yeah. Um, in, Pat, let's get over before we get more down, and we'll be actually in hospital no, ourselves. We're not in the hospice yet. We're not having it. No. We're not on uh, life support. No. Well, we are. Really. Well, we are. But we're in denial. Yeah. <laughs> Today's about getting behind the lads. It's not their fault because no. at the end of the day, they could all be out of a job. Yeah. Um, the yeah. the full thing could be all out completely. So it's a matter of turning up, well, trying really trying to too. rally up. Rallying around the team, rallying around Jim. Yeah. They're, they're, they're in a worse position than we are. We're fans. Yeah. This is their job. This is their livelihood. This yeah. is the impact on their families. Yeah. And um, it's not, none of their doing. It's not, no, well, not on, 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 on the pitch, it's... Not, no, no, not, not the business side, but on no. the pitch they could be helping a bit better. Well, Four defeats on the spin, no, five that, out last that, season. That's about skills and talent. T today, <laughs> let's just get behind them and yeah. see where it takes us and... We're in relatively good spirits, regardless yeah. of what's going on, aren't we? That's due to three pounds. <laughs> yeah, I'm sober. Oh, yes, he is. It's a tidy little ground. Not heard a song from them yet, but we'll see. Come to get some uh, they've been in that huddle for a long time now, so they're having a good discussion about, you know. Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm not listening to him all game either. I will move. Um, Still in the huddle, waiting for kickoff. Chesterfield are ready, we're not. Come on, Dale. It was Rochdale there with the first chance of the game, Will. Rochdale with the first chance of the game there. He was in, but I think the keeper just touched it to stop it lobbing over him. Uh, lads at the back are singing. 
they're getting behind the lads so Fair enough. only three minutes in but yeah they were a good chance another early chance Kian Ayres came in on the side uh, Mitchell's had a snapshot keeper saved it relatively comfortably but so far they're putting up a little bit of a fight Who, who's the dickhead in the orange Shut up, sit down, shut up, you big fat tit. What a fucking tit. Give the ball away cheaply there. It's going to loop out, it's going to go for a corner, I think. Yeah, my first corner of the game. Fat, fatty in the orange is up. Yeah, I think it was, Pete. Yeah, it leaped off him. Well, let's see the corner. See the corner come in. It's gone right through to the back post and it's goal kick up. You can sit down again now, fatty. Oh, has he got? Yeah, I've just noticed his, his mate in the grey. Like, oh, we need some backup here. He's either had too many pies, too many pints, or a fucking bit of both. He's one of them that it could potentially be one of them fans that gets tipped over the edge, Pat. Who? Him in the orange up there. Anyway. Back to the football. No need to. No, I don't. Rodney brought his man down. Um, his yellow card. I don't think it was this far out of you either. It was more of a cross, weren't it? But we'll see as it comes. Fifteen minutes on the uh, clock. Now it'll be sixteen minutes on the clock by the time he takes it. Deep one, should be keeper, but it's punched it for a corner. The resulting corner, it's a shit one really. He's going to lay him back out at the side, you'd assume. Come on, press, press, press him out. I want to keep the clip running because it's in the same movement. Linus, Linus flag. Cairo was in again, but I think the keeper's just tipped it and it's not looped over him. But so we had chances, will. But they're they're, they're playing with the ball a bit better. Yeah, there, there is there's chances here to get the ball in the Chesterfield net for sure. Half an hour gone, it's just been a host of Chesterfield set pieces I've been showing you, but they've made nothing from them so far. This lad 22 is on his own at the back. But so far, they look like they can create something, and their moves are breaking down, but we have created a few chances, but it looks like they've got another gear if they need it. Is this coming in? Ah, it's another corner. Pressure seems to be building. It's a very deep corner. And it's out for a goal kick. I'm at nil nil at our time at the straight will. It's at nil nil at full time to tell you the truth. <laughs> Number nine then was screaming for a penalty when it was a clear corner. Which it is a corner. Pete, what were you on about though? What a fucking pussy. It's the, the head is out from Rodney. But they're still coming forward with it. And it's back into the midfield. But what were he screaming at there? What an absolute fucking turd. A proper bitch fit. He should have got booked for being having that bitch fit. Oh, they're going to send in the box. It's gone wide, it's another corner. It's yet another corner. There was a bit of a tiff before it. Is this the one that counts? No, it's a good header away, but it's looped. It's looped. Yeah, he's giving it away. Well done, ref. Come on. Will's going for a piss. Blimey. Well, Pete, not to jinx anything, but you're technically at half-time, aren't you? Yeah, um, he's offside line. Keep up with play, lad. 
We definitely had a period where they were getting loads of corners. Yeah. But I think we've created enough chances. We've handled the set pieces quite yeah. fairly well. Be be better than what we would usually. This is the feel of the stuff. Yeah, so but we'll, we'll see. Can we snatch it? We've had our own chances, but they're definitely the better team. They're winning the ball back quicker. They're getting it wide to the wingers quicker, but so far, they've not managed to uh, capitalise. So we're still in the game. Uh, yellow card to Chesterfield, just inside there, after a free kick to us. I didn't see what they put on the board, Pete. No, I didn't. Did they not? They can't, maybe they put nothing on the board. It's just ticked over because of the free kick. But throw, they might as well throw one into the box. And they have done, and it's in the goalkeeper's hands, and that should be half time. Oh, did he put two minutes on? Did he? I didn't see. Come on! Oh. I think, I think, I think we'll get to half time at 0 0. I think. Finally, um, club with a bit of common sense, letting the fans out to have a fucking smoke at half time. Some strong words and opinions from people. Barely about sort of engaged, where he'd keep for all he could, just wants his body back to him, then fucking off. Not involving other board members, all his decision. Sounds like fucking an absolute tosser, which he is, which we know that anyway. But at least I can have a cigarette, and it's nil nil, we're not losing yet. Go on then, B before we go back out, have we got any half time analysis? We're doing a lot better than normal. Yeah, they are. Well pressure, straight the on the great. I think it's going to be tough second. Is there a chance to nick it? Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Pete? I think we've done well. Yeah, I, I agree. I think we could be... We could have been in the lead. We, we've cancelled out the set pieces, which is a, a fucking not like us at all. We dealt with all them corners. He's yeah. eating his chicken pie. He's just picking it out of his teeth, that's all. Recommend the pies, excellent. Um, I think he's done really well. I think that keeper saved them a few times. Yeah, he has, yeah. He's had to be there. He's had to be there. Yeah. Um, I think he chased it after so. Yeah, <laughs> well, we'll see. But like I said, there's a fair, fair few in there. They let us out for a smoke at half time. If only more people would do that, more grounds. Uh, Pete was the only person here today to get a half pint at Ken Barlow. You got a Ken Barlow? That's, I don't even think that's half. She was distressed about four in it. She weren't good at four in half time. <laughs> oh, no. Ken Bar but you got your Ken Barlow. Mr. Wallet, man. That's not a wallet. So, 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 oh, we've got it away, but as soon as we came out for second half, they had a free kick. It's looping. They've got one. He scored. He's looped right over the keeper into the net. That was very, very lucky. And just like that, I can't believe that, can you? No. Oh just God. like that, it's a 1 0 Chesterfield. Literally. That was very lucky. Very, very, very lucky. I thought we were going wide, but it weren't. Bye. No. Fuck's sake. Pat, Pat, Pat was oblivious to us being one down. <laughs> she didn't hear the big cheer. What do you do? When it's like, there's a bullshit in the woods if you've not seen it. Does Is it 0 0? I didn't see it. Well, that scoreboard would say otherwise. But but I didn't see it, so it's not there. It was very, very, Pat, it was very lucky. He's just put his head on it to go back in towards the box, and it's looped over everyone and into the corner. No one knew about it until it landed in the bottom corner. Behind them. Yeah. So Fatty's Fat back giving, giving beef again, so they're having a word with him. What a wanker. Tom's coming off. What the fucking hell is that? You fuck bastard! You fuck bastard! What? what is There's always one in there. Well paid, fuck, well paid, huh? Anyhow, there's a free kick to Dale because the referee did well bringing it back and booking uh, one of their players there. Uh. A goal now would be perfect. Clonk his pie ridden ass down. Take it wide, take it wide. No. No, 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 no. He should have he gone straight into the box. They're all up there. Come on! Uh. No, on the break here. This is, this is where they break. This could be the second. Get up, you fucking prick. That's a great tackle. It's all going off. He's going to end up kicking off. He's giving it everywhere. Hey! Oh! Here we 
getting a bit feisty, that. That guy's embarrassing. As soon as they come over to him to sit down, he sits down. He'll do as he's told. What a fucking moron. There's a bit of a presence up here now. But uh, on the pitch still, it's uh, same old, same old. But it's been fast there, I'll give it that, I'll give it that. Yeah, another set piece to Chesterfield. I think the, the whole clip's going to be... Just like, oh. but, well, that would have been less lucky than the other one. That, that's, that's how lucky the other one were. But there we go. Yeah, decent save for keeper there, but it's going to come back in the box. There it is, it's 2-0. Yeah. yeah, that's the end of the game everyone, 2-0, no coming back from this, not too sure what's going on behind us but we're in here, he's running me, yes, come on, come on we've got one back, come on, there's something going on up there, but I, and we're missing all that and I see Rodney coming in, the keeper's made the save but Mel has uh, took in the rebound from it, it's 2-1, there's still time to snap the draw, Will, now. It, it was a perfect time to get one back, oh, Pete. I missed all the ball in, so I was looking at something going on behind us, but... 2-1, 2-1. Yet another Chesterfield corner, Will. We know what happened with the last one, didn't we? Oh, it's a good head over there. It's at the edge of the box, is he going to unleash one? Yep, he is, and it's uh, halfway up the stand. They've just had the ball in the net, he don't realise it's been called for offside, this silly cunt. He's offside. Do any of them realise yet? He doesn't even know, does he? What an absolute plum. The offside, offside, ages ago, the fucking donut. Yes! Yes! Come on! Get in there! Fucking get in! Come on! Come on! Devante Rodney just... Yes! Go on, Rodney, that! Come on! Fucking come on, boys! Come on! Come on! Get in! 2-2! Two, two. We'll have a bit of that, Will. Sit down, you fat fuck! Came out to Rodney in the box here. He's unleashed one into the top corner and he burnt me. Come on. Get in. It's 2-2 two -two with 10 minutes to play. Fucking hell, win 3-2 two today or fucking the nuclear. Yes, get in there. At long last, Patty got ejected, I think. We're in the 87th minute. Um, still 2-2. Two -two. Uh, a draw would feel like a win, but I don't want to tempt any fate or anything like that. Um, showed a bit of fight this second to come back from 2 0 down. A lot of fight, actually. Oh my, in the 90th minute, we've just made. It so, I don't know who it was, but he threw himself in front of the ball to stop it going 3 2 to Chesterfield. What a great intervention. Match saving intervention that. It's a free kick to Dale, so they're going to pump it up long. I don't know how much is going to be added on. There's been four goals, four subs. Could be another five minutes, six minutes left yet. Uh, it was six minutes added on, like I suspected. Six. Three and a half of injury time to go. I think it's going to be a constant pressure, Will. Feels like it, there. It feels like an awful long time. Yeah, it's going to feel like a long time for us and a short time for them. They're pressing non stop now to try and get this winner. And we're clinging, clinging on. Still hovering in and around. At the edge of our box, he's out wide, he's going to swing it in. It's out for a throw in. There's a minute left, can we snatch it? It's been all them in this injury time. We'll hold out for a draw, brilliant Keenis, fucking brilliant lad. That's a bit too long but there we go. See the call there, 95-15. It'll be a great point after being two down this. Come on. Yeah, he's given us a free kick in the box, so obviously we're well over the 96 minutes now, Pete. Looking like a 2-2 draw. 
great result. Obviously, we'll certainly be applauding them off after today's game. Let's see the full time whistle. Which will be blown right now, I imagine, will. A well fought, well fought fucking point. Well fought point. Well played, lads. Honest to God. Bit more fight like that, that's what we want. With the club the way it is, we need the fight, and these boys have shown it this second half after going 2 0 down. Age will tell you about again. Come on. Jim's on his way over, of course. Rod Snail Tail, I die! I'm Rod Snail Tail, I die! I know I am, I'm sure I am, I'm Rod Snail Tail, I die! Come on! Come on, Jim! Fucking yes! Come on! Come on! Fucking love you! Jim Manos is by me, me! They all deserve a fucking credit for that. Well, Pete, well, it's I'm a, a bloody impressed with that result. A 2 2 draw, oh. that felt like a win after being 2 0 down. Yeah, definitely. And you can't say anything, but obviously the stuff off the pitch is out of most people's control. Yeah. But on the pitch, there's fight there. Yeah, definitely. So they're still capable of fucking putting on even a performance. Mis even Mr. Mella scored. <laughs> even <laughs> even Mella scored a goal. So it just shows everyone. The, the, the team on the pitch can. They, they can pull themselves out of the shit. Team, though, we can pull ourselves like away team. from the bottom. Devante Rodney's goal was brilliant, uh, right in the top corner. But me, me and Pete both spotted it in the build-up. There was yeah. an offside, weren't there? It was. Well, the linesman was well behind play, so that wouldn't have counted if he weren't up to play. It was at least but for, a for, yard. thankfully, the, I thought the referee were really good today. For, for a change, I thought it was all right. He, he gave enough like he either, either way. Um, and yeah, that is a very good, I'm going to get Will in, that is a very good result. Toll to toll, we're the best team in the league by a distance. Yeah, you're so happy with that one, aren't you, Will? I'm delighted and delighted. Yeah. They came back, showed some fight, 2-0 down, could have crumbled, could have been 4 5 nil. Yep. It wasn't. And it weren't, it was 2-2, two -two, so that makes a smile on the way home. And now we could, we'll wake up tomorrow feeling a bit better. You're going to this fan forum thing, are you? Yeah. No, you, you might feel hungover tomorrow, Will, I don't know. But anyway... Uh, I forgot what this stadium's even called. What's it called? Kit Just Ch Chesterfield's, uh, Chesterfield's bloody flat pack stadium. So we'll leave from there. We'll get on the motorway home, Peter. And, well, hopefully, yeah. And that's that, everyone. The fight is still there. Keep the faith. Let's see how the future goes up the dale.